Why do some people seem to have their finances all figured out while you're struggling to make ends meet? It's not magic, not luck, and definitely not about how much they earn. It's all about financial literacy. It's about understanding the value of money, how it works, and how to make it work for you. But fear not. We're all prone to making mistakes, especially when it comes to money. The good news is, these are all avoidable mistakes. With a bit of guidance, a sprinkle of discipline and a dash of patience, you can turn your financial life around. Today we will talk about the top nine financial literacy mistakes you're probably making and how to avoid them. Mistake number one, living beyond your means. It's a common trap many fall into, seduced by the shiny allure of the latest gadgets, the trendiest fashion, and the most luxurious experiences. But here's the thing, living beyond your means is like digging a hole with a golden shovel. Sure, it looks glamorous, but you're still stuck in a hole. This financial misstep is about spending more than you earn, creating a cycle of debt that's as hard to escape as quicksand. It's a path that leads to financial instability and chronic stress. So, how do you sidestep this pitfall? It's simpler than you might think. Spend less than you earn, prioritize needs over wants, save before you splurge, and remember it's okay to say no to things you can't afford. Mistake number two, overusing credit cards. Picture this, a shiny plastic ticket to instant gratification. Swipe it and voila, the world is your oyster. But wait, there's a catch. Every swipe, every purchase, grows a mountain of debt that can quickly become a financial avalanche. This is the trap of overusing credit cards. Sure, they're convenient. Yes, they offer rewards and cashback. But remember, credit card companies aren't charities. They're in the business of making money. And they do so by charging interest on your unpaid balances. The convenience of credit cards can lead to impulse purchases, making it easy to spend beyond your means. And that's when the trouble starts. The interest begins to pile up and before you know it, you're in a debt spiral that's hard to get out of. So, how do you avoid this? Simple. Use credit cards sparingly, pay off balances in full, and never spend more than you can afford. Mistake number three, not having a budget. Think of your budget as a financial roadmap. It's a guide that shows you where your money is coming from, where it's headed, and how you can ensure it's being used efficiently. Without it, you're essentially driving blind. So, how do you create a budget? First, identify your income sources, then list your expenses. These can be fixed like rent or mortgage payments and variable like eating out or entertainment. The goal is to ensure that your income covers all these costs and leaves room for savings. Next, set spending limits. This doesn't mean you can't enjoy life. It simply means being mindful of where your money is going. A budget is flexible. It should adapt to your life changes and financial goals. Finally, regularly review and adjust your budget as necessary. Mistake number four, overlooking retirement savings. The phrase time is money is often thrown around, but when it comes to retirement savings, it's absolutely true. The more time you give your money to grow, the more powerful compounding interest becomes. Picture this, a snowball rolling down a hill, growing larger and faster as it goes. That's your retirement savings with compounding interest at work. Now you might be thinking retirement is ages away, I've got time. But that's precisely the point. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. And don't worry if you can't stash away large amounts. Even small, consistent contributions can make a significant difference over time. So how to start saving for retirement now? Begin by setting aside a small percentage of your income each month. As you earn more, increase that percentage. Seek out retirement savings plans and consider speaking with a financial advisor. The earlier you start saving for retirement, the better. Mistake number five, not setting financial goals. It's like setting off on a journey without a destination in mind. You might have fun along the way, but you'll eventually realize you've been going in circles. Financial goals are your compass, your roadmap to financial success. They give you direction, motivation, and a sense of purpose. Think about it. Want to buy a house? Start a business? Retire comfortably? These are all financial goals. They help you make informed decisions and guide your spending. You'd be surprised at how much more control you can have over your money when you have a clear vision of what you want to achieve. But remember, setting goals is just the first step. Follow it up with a plan. 
break down your goals into smaller manageable tasks and track your progress. Adjust your plan as necessary, but never lose sight of your end goal. Mistake number six, ignoring tax efficiency. Tax efficiency is the art of managing your finances in a way that reduces your tax liability. Or in simpler terms, it's about keeping more of your hard-earned cash in your pocket rather than sending it to the taxman. Many people overlook this crucial aspect of their finances, often leaving them paying more tax than they need to. This commonly happens when we fail to take advantage of tax advantage savings accounts, such as individual retirement accounts or 401 KEs in the United States. Likewise, understanding tax implications can guide your investment decisions. For instance, knowing when to hold on to a stock to qualify for long-term capital gains tax rates can save you a significant amount. Every dollar you save on taxes is another dollar you can put towards your financial goals. So don't ignore tax efficiency. Mistake number seven, failing to track spending. Imagine you're on a road trip without a map or GPS. It's easy to get lost, isn't it? The same principle applies to your financial journey. Keeping track of your spending is like having a financial GPS helping you navigate toward your financial goals. Without it, you might find yourself in the middle of financial nowhere, wondering where your money went. When you track your spending, you're able to pinpoint where your money is leaking. You might be surprised to find that the small, seemingly insignificant purchases can add up over time. That daily cup of coffee or that monthly subscription you barely use could be silently draining your wallet. By tracking your spending, you can identify these leaks and fix them. It's a proactive approach to managing your finances. It's not about depriving yourself. It's about making informed decisions and prioritizing what truly matters to you. Remember, what gets measured gets managed. Mistake number eight, not educating yourself on financial matters. It's simple. If you don't understand it, don't invest in it. Yet many of us overlook the importance of financial education. We live in an age where information is at our fingertips. So why not use it to our advantage? Free online courses, ebooks, podcasts, and even YouTube channels are available to improve your financial literacy. Understanding the basics of budgeting, investing, taxes, and loans can empower you to make informed decisions. It can help you avoid hefty fines, crippling debt, and financial pitfalls. It can also unlock opportunities for wealth creation and financial freedom. Remember, the more you learn, the more you earn. You don't need a degree in finance to manage your money better. A little bit of time and effort can go a long way. So take that step today. Start educating yourself on financial matters. Mistake number nine, failing to diversify investments. Picture this, you're in a boat and instead of having multiple patches on hand to fix any potential leaks, you've only got one. If more than one hole pops up, you're sinking. That's what it's like when you don't diversify your investments. Diversification is essentially spreading your investments across a variety of assets, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and more. This strategy is crucial for managing risk. If one investment performs poorly, others may perform well, offsetting the loss. It's like having multiple patches for that boat of yours. Diversification doesn't guarantee profits or protect against all losses, but it can improve the potential for returns and reduce the impact of a single poor performing investment. So remember, in the world of investing, it's unwise to put all your eggs in one basket. Now that you know the top nine financial literacy mistakes and how to avoid them, you're one step closer to achieving financial freedom. Each of these points is a stepping stone towards a more solid financial future. It's essential to remember them and start implementing these tips immediately. It's not about drastic changes overnight, but about small consistent steps that lead to big transformations. Remember, the best time to start is now. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be the first to know when we release new videos.